uh, I did perform comedy in front of a live audience on Friday, which was uh, uh, amazing and kind of like exactly what I needed in that moment. And uh, it made me realize like how much I fucking missed doing live comedy in front of people. Um, I still like, I mean, I'm not shitting on live streams or virtual shows because I have, I have enjoyed those as well. Like if I didn't, uh, if I didn't enjoy doing these, I, I simply wouldn't. That's just sort of how my personality is. If I stop enjoying something, um, I, I, I become a little bit petulant and a little bit of an asshole. <laughs> That's just my personality, which sucks. Uh, Miguel's asking how the show was. The show was excellent. It was a really fun show. Um, I was pretty panicked. Even after like 16 years of doing comedy. Just a little bit of of time off away from the stage. I, I got very panicked. I didn't know if I was going to remember the material. I didn't know if I was going to remember how to fucking perform uh, as a as a person again. Uh, and I I also I'm I'm gonna you know do a whole fucking post about this and get all emotional and shit. But um, I I gen like I genuinely get concerned about doing general audience shows, right? Like shows that I haven't curated, or like shows where I'm not opening for Lee Camp or what have you, uh, or Ron Placone or, or anything like that. I genuinely get concerned because I feel like general audiences don't like my stuff because <laughs> it can be a little too further to the left and a little too like comedy with a message for them just to come out to a bar, enjoy a couple drinks, and have a good time, but. I was using that as a barometer to see whether um, I would even be comfortable with doing something like this and ready to get back out on the road. Uh, and and I and it felt I, I got to say, it felt really, really great. <laughs> like I hit the stage and, and I guess like that part of my brain just kind of took over a little bit. Um, and I was able to like get back into the rhythm of of just being uh, being a, being a performer again, which was which was very cool. Um, so I'm going to be planning some stuff in the in, in the fall. Uh, I, I have a new show idea. It is going to be called the Citizen Revolution because um, I came up with that name last year. And I think it fits with what I want the show to be, uh, which the central narrative of the of the show is 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 about me getting my citizenship the process of that and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but as I go through the various different parts of it, I want to deviate and kind of hit uh, some some important issues and topics that I don't think get covered in, in any sort of mainstream comedy or any sort of mainstream media at all. Um, so it's a pretty ambitious style of show with the main narrative that kind of deviates into different parts and then comes back to the main narrative. Uh, so I have a friend of mine who does theater and produces theater shows that I pitched. I told her the idea and she was like, I will help you fucking figure it out. So I think uh, we are going to try to do that at some point over the summer. But I, I have kind of an idea of where I would like things to go um, as I just completely fuck my hair up. Uh, but I, I have some ideas of where, where I want to go with it. And, and then, you know, uh, maybe in august september around that time start uh start booking some shows um i really they're going to be weekend runs i don't think i'm going to be touring in the same capacity that i was before because you know i would i people are probably not going to become super comfortable with um having random strangers that go to different cities crash at their house which is kind of what i was doing i was either crashing with comics or doing the couch surfing thing so, uh, yeah, so, so I'm, I'm going to be doing kind of weekend runs in cities where I know, uh, I can either get a cheap hotel or crash with a comic who, you know, is, is vaccinated or has been safe. It's just so we're, we're all kind of be responsible in, in this, in this, uh, pandemic world that we're living in. Uh, so that's, that's part of it. I'd like to work out this new show. I have a bunch of ideas for it. Uh, I I miss being on stage. Like I think I'm gonna probably like w once I get in, into June and and you know like I'll have more of my evenings free. I will uh, not be working 15, 16 hour days anymore. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I'll just be doing the regular old 10 that I normally do. <laughs> Uh, but it's not bad because I like what I like when I'm when I do end up working 10 hours where it's writing and research and note taking and, you know, doing doing stuff for people that I care about. Like it, it it's not bad. That's that's 10 hours spent well. Um, but now that I do have, a you know, I'll have my evenings free and, and all that kind of stuff. I, uh, I I will probably jump to go do some open mics just to just to get my sea legs underneath me, work out some stuff. Uh, if, if, if I can get the, the writing down, um, or, or just go up and tell a couple stories that I think are fun, um, and, and just kind of get, get back into just having fun on stage and get, you know, get my, get my sea legs back, uh, as I kind of write out and plan out the show. Um, the other thing I want to do with these shows is to kind of have a mutual aid aspect around it. Uh, meaning I want people to be able to donate stuff. Uh, food, clothing, et cetera, et cetera. And then if you are someone that is in need of food, clothing, et cetera, et cetera, come to the show and there you go. If you need a winter jacket, boom, somebody's do donated a, a winter jacket for you. And I, I and I want to try to coordinate that with some of the venues. I know a few of the venues will probably be cool with it um, and try to get the word out and try to get you know, people to donate stuff before the show and during the show so that when the show comes, if people are in need, they can grab what they, they, what they need. <laughs> uh, and it's, it's the motto of mutual aid, which is it's solidarity, not charity. Uh, it's specifically there to, to help people. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a small fry and honestly, I was inspired by what, uh, what Rome did. Uh, if you guys don't know at unholy Rome on Twitter, uh, Rome went around basically doing a mutual aid tour is kind of what he did. And I was like, you know, I should, that's kind of awesome. And I kind of want to do that with, uh, with, with comedy shows. So, um, you know, if, if I can figure out, if I can figure out how to get in touch with somebody from a mutual aid in a particular city, or a homeless shelter, or what have you, um, I would like to make that a part of uh, part of my tours, uh, a regular part of my tours, uh, uh, as it were. So um, right now, the cities I am probably looking at a, in terms of coming back, coming to in the fall, I, obviously I'm going to do some stuff in Pittsburgh because I'm going to have to flush out the show. So I'm probably going to do some free stuff around Pittsburgh. Uh, da, 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 what else? Uh, Williamsport, Pennsylvania, where I was going to record an album. Uh, Washington, D.C., Baltimore, uh, Norfolk, Virginia, uh, probably Richmond, uh, Greensboro, North Carolina. Uh, what else? Knoxville, Huntsville, Lansing, Michigan. Detroit, Michigan, Kalamazoo, Michigan, um, Indianapolis, Minneapolis, uh, Chicago, uh, places like that. Those are those are the those are the spots that I'm I'm looking into for the fall and winter time. Which I know it's like you're coming into the Midwest in the mid in the winter, and it's like yeah, that's basically when I have to do it because everybody is like desperate to come out and and do something other than the dreary fucking cold awful abyss that is the midwest winters right so uh so that, that that's when people come to see shit it's either the, the winter or the spring depending on uh where you're at so that's kind of my plan that's kind of what i want to do and honestly like if the show on friday would have been terrible if i felt super uncomfortable um, I, I, I wouldn't, uh, be, uh, fucking, uh, doing that. So <laughs> that's, that's where things are. And, and I am excited about it. I'm, I'm very, very much looking forward to the end of this week. Uh, and, and so I can, I can like, I, I feel like I can get my life back on track. You know what I mean? Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the like button and please make sure you share this content out. Sharing is very important. Sharing is how independent media gets the word out there about topics that corporate media doesn't even want to mention on their networks. So it's really up to you guys. Corporate media very much depends on the people. We are people powered media. That's what we really are. Uh, another great way to help if you're on stable financial ground is to uh, make a financial contribution to this channel. And you can do so over at krishmohanhaha.com 
slash donate. You can become a sustaining member, which gets you free tickets, early access to videos, bonus stand-up comedy and storytelling content, uh, a way for you to communicate directly with me, ask me questions, and other uh, premium content that uh, will be released on a monthly basis. Um, or you can make a one-time donation as well on that same website. Um, I also have uh, various stand-up comedy albums. I have about six comedy albums out right now uh, that are available on my website at krishmohanhaha.com. And most of them, if you get them off of Bandcamp, are available for a dollar or a, a pay-what-you-want pricing. And I also want to mention that I do have an online merch store. Uh, you can go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com, click on the merch tab, and check out all of the designs that I've made myself. And the Julian Assange shirt, there is a Julian Assange shirt that's on the website. All the profit from the Julian Assange designs will be going to uh, pro-Assange activists such as Action for Assange, uh, Kevin Gastola, Richard Methurst, folks uh, 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 that, that are covering and talking about Assange. So I'm going to be making donations to them. Um, uh, it'll be 100% of the profits I make off of that shirt. Uh, thank you again for tuning in. Thank you again to all the people that have made contributions to the show, that regularly check out my content, that have subscribed to my channels. I, I very, very much appreciate it, and uh, and you guys help keep this uh, keep keep this this train a moving. So I, I very much appreciate that. Until the next video, we'll see you on the road. See you guys.